So I grew up drawing constantly. I was always drawing these princesses with uh, big puff sleeves and, and full skirts and I was obsessed with this Rami Schneider movie Sissy about the Austrian Empress and I would watch it every time I went to visit my grandparents. So I was really drawn to, you know, the fashion, sort of this opulence. Uh, I went to a fine arts high school and, and uh, focused on painting. After graduating, went to study fashion and so there um, the focus was more on design, color theory. Um, I learned a lot about art history and fashion history and ended up working as a designer for a few years uh, before um, realizing that I was really missing painting and, and needed to be making with my hands again and so. So August and Other Stories is really about memory and um, August for me has always been kind of this melancholic, nostalgic time where summer is winding down and there's sort of a bittersweetness to it that I really love. And so the show is kind of an attempt to capture memory but also my relationship to memory and how um, you know memories are very fragile and they degrade over time and they kind of lose their shape. The fallibility of memory which is kind of the central idea of the show and it's a self-portrait where I'm looking at a piece of cake and there's a hole in the center of the cake and I had that cake with my grandmother in Wiesbaden a few years ago. So I've always been drawn to the work of Marc Chagall. Uh, you know, there's like an element of fantasy, um, surrealism, but it's very spiritual. Paula Murazon Becca, I read a biography of her life. Um, and was just so intrigued by her, Frida Kahlo, uh, the surrealism, but also the self-portraiture and sort of the pursuit um, of an understanding of self. 